Well, congratulations, class of 2020. You're celebrating the 50th year of Red Rocks Community College, a year that we probably will not soon forget. Together, we have met the challenges that this year has brought us. You've done it with courage, you've done it with hope, and you've had the support of a community of faculty, staff, and administrators that believe in you and in your future. Now, we don't know when it will end, but it will. There'll be a before and an after, and we will certainly come to savor the simple pleasures of life. You have persisted to this end. I hope that you will not only move on to career heights, but there will be more education in your future. You will continue to raise families, serve your communities, create new businesses, fight the fires, save lives, and teach students. All it began with a choice that you made to come to Red Rocks Community College. You chose to try, to walk through those doors, and to begin. You will make this choice again and again as you take each step along your journey. You chose to stay, to engage, and to give it your best, and your best culminates in today's celebration. You are leaving an incredible place of learning. We thank you for the honor of being our students and allowing Red Rocks to be a part of your lives. You make me proud. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the platform guests that are here with us today. Uh, Stacy Rowe, who is our interpreter, Press Askew, who's the State Board for Community College and Occupational Education representative. Linda Como, who is our Vice President of Instructional Services. Kelly Warden, Dr. Kelly Warden, who's our Outstanding Faculty of the Year. Dr. Cynthia Shields, Director of Advising, Transfer, and Tutoring Services. Matt Adrian, who's the Outstanding Graduate of the Year. Jasmine Romero, Outstanding Graduate of the Year. Chelsea Sandoval. PDK president and ESSAC representative, Allison Blackman, student government president, Brian Bryant, vice president of administrative services. It is my pleasure to welcome Press Askew to the podium. Press is on our state board of community colleges and we are very pleased to have him here today. Press. On behalf of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I'd like to congratulate each of you for what you've accomplished here at Red Rocks Community College under what has been some challenging times. And with that in mind, as you prepare to go forward with continued education or into your chosen career, I'd like to make a couple of observations. For you going on to another college, there's probably three scenarios for which you might want to prepare. Ideally, your institution of choice will be able to conduct their classes on campus and you'll be able to be in classrooms and have an environment with, with which you've been familiar. The second best is probably your institution announcing before you register that they will have only remote classes. And then of course, what I feel would probably be the most upsetting scenario would be to have your institution allow you to register on campus, begin your classes, and then be disrupted again as we were this year. Especially if you uh, happen to be using student loans. So consequently, I'd like to suggest that the old adage, hope for the best, but plan for the worst comes into play. And in my opinion, the best will probably not happen this year. So I recommend that you plan for the worst, which would be to start school and then be disrupted. If I were you, I would select a college that I could attend and do so by commuting. So keep that in mind as you make your plans. Those of you that are going to go into your chosen career, you're faced with some challenges too. Not only have we lost a lot of jobs that would have existed without this COVID-19, we also have 
added about 200,000 people in the state of Colorado who are looking for jobs. So I'd like to share with you something that might be helpful. A few years ago, a prominent sociologist did a study on how we get jobs. And that study found that 56% of the people who successfully found a job did so through a personal contact. Now, that personal contact was not a close friend. That personal contact tended to be an acquaintance. And so for that reason, I suggest that you think of all of your acquaintances and keep in mind faculty and staff here at Red Rocks Community Colleges are great acquaintances for you. So that's my little best of advice I can give you. But again, congratulations on what you've accomplished here at Red Rocks Community College. Hello graduates, friends, and family members. My name is Joe Garcia, and I'm the Chancellor of the Colorado Community College System. Now it's been around 40 years since I graduated from college, but I still remember that day vividly, just as you will remember your graduation 40 years from now. In fact, it isn't only you, but everyone will remember this graduation because there's never been one like it. The conditions in our country right now seem to overwhelm everything else around us. But that doesn't change the fact that it is a day set aside to celebrate your hard work and your achievement. Today we come together in an unprecedented way. There have been graduations before that took place under challenging circumstances. Times of economic depression and even world wars. But graduates during those days didn't have access to the technology we have. Technology that allows us to share your achievements with anyone, anywhere. Innovation has allowed us to accomplish great things, and your education has prepared you to be innovators. You are what we need right now because of your spirit and your belief that we can overcome the challenges of today and whatever challenges are thrown at us tomorrow. That is why it is fitting that you are having a graduation like no other in history. While certain traditional elements of a graduation are missing today, what is most important at any graduation is still present at this one and it is the pride you feel in your accomplishments, a pride that is shared by your families and all of us. If it were within my power, I would give each of you the opportunity to hear your family cheer as you walk across the stage to shake the hand of your college president. But this is not the time we can do that. Because above, above all else, your safety, your lives come first. So these are challenging times, difficult times for all of us. Many job opportunities seem out of reach. And for the safety of those we love, we're all forced to create distance from our friends and for some of us, our families. But here's what I can promise you. It will all come back. And when it does, you'll be ready. You have the skills and the knowledge that have prepared you. You have the respect of those who have taught you. You have businesses and industries who are anxious to open their doors and restart the economy, and when they do, they will need new and well-educated employees. Now, you're being tested by the times, and you will succeed. Each and every college in the Colorado Community College system has your backs. You are one of ours. When you need a recommendation letter from a faculty member, we'll be there. When you move to a bachelor's degree and higher, we'll be there. When you open your own business, and get the promotion you want or develop new skills for another career, we'll be there. And right now, even if you are not in the presence of your family, I can assure you, the pride is there. From this day forward, you are a college graduate. You are one of our graduates, and we could not be more proud of you. Congratulations, Red Rocks Community College Class of 2020. First, I would like to mention Red Rock's retiring faculty and staff who spent many years here with us. Keith Swain, Dr. Keith Swain, psychology department, who spent 10 years. Mr. Art Gomez, fire science, 16 years. Marilyn Kenfield, who's been our director of high school relations, 15 years. Cindy Vetta Bunker, 
financial aid advisor and director, 17 years. Gary Carlson, out of facilities, five years. A total of over 63 years of service to the college. Thank you all for what you have done. Now, each year we recognize outstanding graduates and faculty members. Presenting the award to the faculty member of the year will be Vice President of Instruction, Linda Como. Let me ask Linda Como, our Vice President of Instruction, to please come to the podium. Linda? Good morning. It is now my honor to introduce this year's Faculty of the Year, Dr. Kelly Warden. Dr. Warden is a professor of biology and the current science department chair. She has a PhD in ecology and evolutionary biology from UCLA and a bachelor's of science in biology from the University of Puget Sound. Dr. Warden is a Colorado native and she joined Red Rocks as a full-time faculty member in 2008. Dr. Warden teaches microbiology in the second semester of general biology, and she also teaches field biology courses that provide academic travel opportunities for all of her students. She has traveled to locations such as Hawaii and Costa Rica, Peru, and Tanzania. Dr. Warden is an advocate for students and faculty in every way, and she's recognized for her excellence in teaching. So please help me welcome Dr. Kelly Warden as this year's Faculty of the Year. Dr. Warden. Thank you, Linda. This honor really means a lot mostly because it was given to me by my peers and because I work with some truly remarkable people. To Tony, who nominated me, I can't thank you enough. To all of the faculty that voted, thank you. It was really just an honor to be nominated among with so many other terrific people. When they told me I won the Faculty of the Year Award, I was really shocked and surprised and honored and a little terrified. Terrified mainly because I knew I would have to give this speech. Now this certainly is not the scenario I envisioned, but I did, did, I did know that it would be hard to write and hard to deliver. As I dwelled and dwelled on what seemed like an enormous task, I thought about why I'm here in the first place, and that reason is you. I'm here because of you, the amazing students of Red Rocks Community College, and you all do hard things every day. You study and take exams and complete assignments, often while working and juggling childcare and numerous other responsibilities. You study late at night and into the early morning, and you still manage to wake up to get to class on time, usually. Um, with all of that in mind, writing and delivering this speech seemed a little less hard. I have heard people talk about inspiring teachers, but I'm here to tell you today that it's you, our students, that inspire us more than you know. I think I speak for most of your faculty and instructors when I say that you inspire us to work hard and to make the world a better place, and you really are the reason why we are here. As we battle this current pandemic together, it is perhaps more important than ever to remember two things that have hopefully been learned or at least reinforced during your time at Red Rocks Community College. The first is that you can and should keep going. That doesn't mean it will be easy, and that doesn't mean you have to do it on your own. There may be times when you feel like you've lost your way. There may be times when you're not sure of the final destination. But keep going. You can and you should. The second thing to remember, especially in this time of challenge and uncertainty, is that you can do hard things. You made the hard decision to go to college, and you did all of the hard things day in and day out that it took to get you to where you are today, graduating. For some of you, this is the end of a long journey, and for others, it is only the beginning. Regardless, these two lessons of persistence and accomplishment should serve you well in whatever your next steps may be. Now more than ever, the world needs you to keep going and to keep doing the hard things. So on behalf of your Red Rocks faculty, congratulations on this milestone. 
Now get out there and please keep doing the hard things. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Cynthia Shields, the Director of Advising, who will introduce our outstanding graduate. Thank you, Linda. I will be recognizing two students as our Red Rocks Community College Outstanding Graduates of the Year. This award is given to students not only for academic achievement and outstanding leadership, but who have demonstrated a positive impact in one or more of the following areas. Campus clubs or organizations, student government, campus work study, and community service. Our first outstanding graduate of the year is Matt Adrian who first came to Red Rocks Community College to explore new career options after previous pursuits of music and later medical career paths. After deciding those fields were not his passion, he radically redirected his career interests toward our cybersecurity program. Matt has been the president of the Cybersecurity Club, participated in many cybersecurity conferences and competitions, such as Open Web Application Security Project, Cloud Security, and was one of four students that represented the United States at the Singapore Ministry of Defense Brain Hack Cyber Competition, just to name a few. Also been recognized as a Cybersecurity Program National Science Foundation Scholar, Phi Theta Kappa Scholar, and Colorado Community College System Last Mile Scholar. Please help me in recognizing our Red Rocks Community College Outstanding Graduate of the Year, Matt Adrian. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Good morning, graduates. Greetings, friends and family, Red Rocks College faculty, staff, administration, President Michelle Haney, and the whole Red Rocks community, thank you for this honor of being selected one of this year's outstanding graduates and for the opportunity to address my classmates at this spring 2020 commencement ceremony. Thank you to everyone for your fortitude through this difficult season. Thank you for adapting and for standing together. I wanna personally thank a few people, my parents for their steadfast support, Ioana for her love and encouragement, Joseph Murdoch for his advice and belief in me, Melissa English for all her professional help, Bruno Salvatico, Liz Cox, and the Idea Lab for a space in which to build and dream. Zorane Martinez, and computer services as a whole for the important lessons, all my cyber pals, and my church community. Most importantly, God deserves the glory, my rock, my strong tower, and constant companion. It is such a privilege to finally be graduating with a degree from Red Rocks Community College, as I've been taking classes here since I was a concurrently enrolled homeschooled high schooler in 2007. I made a commitment to change careers to cybersecurity in 2018, and it feels great to be graduating. Congratulations to each of the graduates today. You earned this and deserve the opportunity and chance to savor this great achievement. Take a break and enjoy it. As we look to the next chapter after graduation, I want to seize this opportunity to give some unsolicited advice that has served me well as I've immersed myself in the world of computer code, packet sniffing, blue snarfing, fraggle attacks, script kitties, Van Eck freaking, and more IT acronyms than I can count. I'd like to inspire you to get involved, especially when it scares you, saying yes to the opportunities for which I didn't feel quite ready, I've adventured around Denver and even abroad to Singapore to represent my country in a global hackathon during my time here at Red Rocks Community College. 
Chasing failure has allowed me to step confidently into seemingly impossible hands-on projects, into leadership roles way outside my comfort zone, and into rewarding friendships I will cherish for years to come. I feel privileged to have experienced so many wonderful opportunities here, and I wouldn't have taken part of any of it if I hadn't jumped into all the extracurriculars and team activities that Red Rocks and this community has to offer. Say yes, it is the single best way I know to compound your opportunities and experiences. Even if it's frightening, even if there is a chance you might fail, say yes. Thank you all, and I sincerely wish each of you watching courage and joy. Congratulations. Thank you, Matt. Our next Outstanding Graduate of the Year is Jasmine Romero, who came to Red Rocks Community College through our Theater Technology and Stagecraft degree program. Jasmine has been called indispensable by theater faculty, having managed several theater productions while also assisting with costumes, building sets, hanging lights, and programming light boards. However, her skill with mentoring new incoming community college theater arts students has not gone unrecognized as well. Her upward progression from theater arts work study student to expertise in creating lighting displays for The Wizard of Oz, then rising to the level of stage manager for the play Macbeth are due to her capabilities and her love of the craft. She has been recognized by the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival and attended the regional competition last winter. Please help me in recognizing our Red Rocks Community College Outstanding Graduate of the Year, Jasmine Romero. Thank you, Cynthia. I would first like to thank my teacher, Gail Gober, for nominating me for the Outstanding Student Award. She has always been a wonderful teacher and knowledgeable mentor throughout my education at Red Rocks. The Red Rocks Theater Department has always been a place where I am always welcomed for being different, as well as a place to push myself through boundaries and to head to new challenges. The theater faculty has always been supportive of any goal I set my mind to, and for that, I am thankful to all of them. My time at this school may be coming to a close, but my learning will never cease, and the experiences and lessons learned here will always be there to guide me in the future. Thank you and congratulations to Class of 2020. On behalf of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I hereby grant the authority to confer the appropriate degrees and certificates to President Haney. Thanks. And now, will the candidates for certificates and degrees please rise. President Haney, based upon the recommendation of the faculty, I certify that these graduates have fulfilled the requirements requirements of the associate degree and certificate. And I present the graduates to you for the conferring of the degrees. It's now my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Brian Bryant, our Vice President of Administrative Services, who will be announcing our graduates. Brian? Hello, I'll be reading the names of the graduates along with their thank yous provided by the students. Adrian, I want to give foremost glory to God for providing the time, finances, and people I need to finish. Linda Agrippino, I would like to thank Kathy Lockman and the Gateway Program for all the talks of encouragement that helped me set my path to find my purpose and meaning. 
to all the staff and faculty for their dedication to all Red Rocks. Alyssa Anderson, thank you to my mom and dad for always believing in me. Brooke Armbrust, I would like to thank my family for everything they do and for supporting me every step of the way. Elizabeth Aitz Spivey. Alyssa Barnhill. I'd like to thank Hill Baker of the Music Department, Tracy and Kelly of Biology Department, Zach, Lauren, and my gran. Elena Jewel Bonner. Calvin William Bowles. Sarah Brown. Colton Burroughs. Thank you, Gene Kelly, for all the help you gave me. Stacy Campbell. Troy Castillo. Thank you to all of my friends and family who has helped me throughout this journey. Vincent James Castillo. I would like to thank friends, family, and teachers for helping me get this far. Lisa Chiapiti. Thank you to my mom and dad. You guys rock. Greg Ching. I appreciate the encouragement from all the instructors and students in the Water Quality Management Department. Special thanks to Yarrow, Chelsea, and Summer. Zachary Ransom Cribs. Anna Maria Cruz La Santa. Thank you to my theater teachers, friends, and family. I am grateful for your support. I love you all. Anna Elizabeth Davis. Bethany Distel. Anthony James Daniel Dress. Thank you to my parents for supporting my goals. I wish my grandparents could see how far I have come. Love. Alexa Dupel. Julian Amy. Raphael Ensflagaroa. Thanks to my entire family and friends for being so supportive and helpful, especially my handsome husband. Kaylee Ferry. Kelsey Fonzi. Thank you to everyone who has supported me and believed in me throughout my journey thus far. Gabrielle Fraley. Thank you to my teachers, family, scholarship donors, my friends, Jesus Christ, but most importantly, my 4.0 GPA. Dina Faye Gilmore. Thank you for people that believed in me and supported my dreams. I am a better woman because of a great experience. Matthew Gold. Thank you to Lauren Badger and John Paget for all their assistance as I was working towards my education. Dotsewana Gordon. I would like to take the time to thank the su and support that I have had from my friends and family that truly have pushed me to do better in every situation. Rafael Guerrero. Thanks to my family, friends, and teachers who helped me make this dream possible. Joseph Hahn. Bryson Hammer. Ashley Michaela Harris. Thanks, y'all, for you, for you did for my family and I. Chantel Healy. Catherine Horner, I would like to thank all the amazing faculty here who have changed my life and made spring 2020 work. David Horner, I want to thank my parents for always being by my side and being very supportive. O'Quinn Hudgens, 
Nicholas Ingram. Thank you to my parents, Tim and Lori Ingram, for always supporting me and encouraging me. Renee Yonke. Annabelle K. Stephen Todd Croker. Brian Crow. Jennifer Eve Marie LaCroix. Justin David Latimer. Thank you to all my family and friends that accompanied me on my journey. It was a pleasure. Lord Charles Talbot Levesque. Thank you to my mom and dad for making this possible. Elmer Little. Raylan Lopez. Thank you to those who never gave up on me and continue to show their support for me today. C. Susan Lowe. I would like to thank my friends Gina and Deb for the encouragement. Professor Paget. I appreciate the challenges you presented to me. Pamela Janelle Lowry. I want to thank all my family members for their continued support and my instructors for believing in me. Alejandra Luevano. A big thank you to my family, my son, and to me for keeping going and never giving up. Jennifer J. McCall. Thank you to the Red Rocks Daycare for being there and teaching me skills. Thank you to all my friends and family for helping me to get where I am today. Ruben Medina, Jr. First, I would like to thank God. I would also like to thank my family and friends who supported me throughout this journey. More goals to accomplish and want to be successful. Miracle Mims. Thank you to Kyle Kelly for being a great professor and keeping me focused. Musette Simsky for helping me with math and never giving up on me. And thank you to Selena Krumpholtz for always being here and motivating me to never give up. You guys are amazing at your jobs. Adega Mohammed. Jeffrey Morris. Roberto Navarro de la Guardia. Rebecca Neal. Thank you to my husband and wonderful RRCC teachers, Wendy Bird, Donna Armelino, Laura Sacri, John Sedarno, Roseanne Masters. Taylor Noland. Juanita Nalasco. I would love to thank all of my family for all of their love and support. Tanner Duke Norman. Zying Pan. Mark Pavlich. Thank you to everyone in my family for supporting my educational journey, especially my mom and my two children. Grace Peterson. Catherine Pitts. Thank you to my professors for igniting a desire for education. I finally did it. Love you, Lydia. Sophia Roffin. I want to thank my family for the support, and I want to thank everyone for watching my graduation, even though we can't physically be there. Kendall Joyce Raymer. I want to thank all my loved ones for helping me get here today. I am forever thankful for the continuous support. Amelia Grace Reed. Lydia Rez. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting me through everything I do. Danielle Rhodes. Landon Rizendahl. Haley Rodella. Bonnie Rogers. 
Thank you to everyone who assisted and supported me in these past years towards this accomplishment. Jasmine Reyes Roman. Thank you to God and my family for the unlimited support. I love you. Jasmine Romero. Thank you to the amazing RRCC Theater Department for challenging and encouraging me to excel in all that I do. Cassidy Rosenberg. Bianca Sanchez. Walter Sanchez Vasquez. Thank you to my aunt and mother for all your assistance as I've worked to achieve my degree. Britta Slagbaum. Thank you to all my professors for being so supportive and giving me the confidence to succeed. My experience at Red Rocks Community College has exceeded my expectations and helped me grow into a better person. Daniel Schrum. Abby Somers. Christina Strope. Diane Strumpf. I would like to thank the teachers, staff, the amazing tutors, as well as my mother, Terry, for supporting me and also my children, Sophia and Grace, for watching me do all of my homework. Alexandria Sutherland. Alexandria would like to thank her family, Hasten, Emily, and Jesse, who have shown nothing but love and encouragement. Garrett Swindle. Michael Tellis. Thank you to my family that has supported me endlessly and to all of the friends that I made along the way. Alyssa Trenzo. Andrew Vega. Thank you to everyone in the theater program, especially Kelly Joe and our amazing pianist, Rob Lowe. Love you guys. Megan Wilkinson. I want to thank all of the RRCC staff, mostly the EMS. Thank you everyone for your support and success. Mohammed Yassin. Karen York. Thank you to all the wonderful faculty that I have had the chance to be taught by. RRCC has a lot of talented, wonderful faculty and instructors. Zachary Young. Thank you. By the authority vested in me, by the State of Colorado and the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I hereby confer upon you the degree or certificate for which you are a candidate with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Now, in keeping with the academic tradition, the graduates will now place their tassel to the left of their mortarboard, signifying the final official designation of graduation. So if you have your mortarboards on, are you ready? On the count of three. Please join, please join me. One, two, three. Excellent. Help me everyone in congratulating this year's graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. Before I give you the final authority to walk with your degree, let me thank you all again for being our students, for the honor of allowing us to be part of your lives. Let me also thank 
everyone here at the college who has made this possible today. And we wish we were doing this in person. I wish I was shaking each and every one of your hands. Uh, let's do it soon. Uh, we'll get this college open and we'll do it again. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of the ceremony today. So my final words, by the authority vested in me by the State of Colorado and the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I hereby confer upon you the degree or certificate for which you are a candidate with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities thereto appertaining. Time to party. Go for it. Hello, class of 2020. On behalf of the academic advising team, since we're one of the ones that advise you throughout your educational journey, we have one more thing to tell you. Congratulations! Congratulations. Hello, graduates. On behalf of the mathematics department, I wanna say congratulations, you did it. We're so excited for you and so proud of you. We wish we could be there with you today to celebrate and we hope that you and all your loved ones are safe and healthy. Best of luck on your next adventure. We know you're going to do amazing things and make this world a better place. This world needs people like you. Congratulations again! Congratulations, class of 2020. This is Chris Oleski, Professor of Criminal Justice. I just wanted to say congratulations. You did this during such a difficult, challenging time. Uh, you've graduated with a degree, and I just hope that you continue your education uh, throughout your career, whether that's getting a four-year degree or doing professional development. Uh, there's so much that awaits you. Um, so again, congratulations. Have a great summer. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Red Rocks. Way to go! Especially our outstanding theater grad, Jasmine Romero. Rock on, Jasmine. The class of 2020, congratulations. Say congratulations. Ah. <laughs> Hi 2020 grads, congratulations on making it to the end of a very memorable year. I am so impressed with the resiliency everybody has demonstrated. I wish you all the best as you graduate from Red Rocks. Hi, um, congratulations all of the water quality management graduates as well as all of the Red Rocks graduates. I'm Chelsea Campbell, faculty in the water quality management department. Um, I just want to say a special congratulations to everyone in water quality. I know there are many of you that have spent a long time getting these degrees. We have three graduates getting a bachelor's degree and we have five getting an associate's degree. So it's very exciting for all of you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much for le letting Red Rocks be the school where you get your degrees um, and choosing us. Um, I hope that uh, we have served you well. Um, I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations. Stay in touch. Let us know where you're going, what you're up to. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to lose uh, touch with you. So definitely um, let us know. And hope you have a great summer. You definitely earned a break. So uh, no classes, no schoolwork. Uh, have a good summer. And hopefully we will see you soon. Congratulations, all of you. Congratulations to this year's class for everything that you've accomplished. And to get to this day, to be able to say that you've graduated from Red Rocks Community College. I am so proud of every one of you for pushing through the adversity of the transition to online and still making your dreams come true. Congratulations to my students in graphic design, videography, journalism and photography. I am so excited for you to be able to show up and show the world your amazing artwork that you're going to be able to create. Again, congratulations. Hello class of 2020, Dr. Janice Knapp Walter here from Early Childhood Education and Teacher Education at Red Rocks Community College. Wishing you a hearty congratulations. You did it. You have proven you can do hard things and all that hard work has paid off. We are so proud of you. 
and wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. Congratulations once again. Congratulations to you Red Rocks Outdoor Education and Park Ranger graduates. You did it, way to go. Hey there graduates of spring 2020 from Red Rocks Community College. This is Summer Waters wishing you all the best out there. I know these are uh, times of uncertainty and I know how it feels. I got my master's degree in December of 1999, believe it or not, back when um, the whole Y2K crisis was predicted to potentially disrupt our computer systems, our society in a lot of unknown ways. And so I know that's probably hardly a comparison now with what we're facing with the pandemic, but I do believe that you will persevere, you'll get creative, you'll go out there, you'll use your degrees and do what you love and make a positive impact in this world. And so congratulations and embrace that uncertainty and just get out there and make a difference. Hats off. Woohoo! Celebrate! That's right. I know tomorrow is officially the end of the spring semester. And for instructors, there is tons of grading to do. But I think we are all ready to just slap a bow in this semester and call it done. We can see the finish line. And that's something to celebrate because all of you have been so adaptable and flexible and have persisted during these unprecedented times. Be very proud and know that I am so pleased and grateful for everything that you've done. Now for instructors, I am really hoping you'll be able to unplug a little bit and have a singular focus on everything outside of work. And for all of you that aren't instructors, I hope you can do the same. You know, the president has mentioned it and I fully support it. You need to unplug as well. So take your personal leave, have a staycation, do something because you deserve to refresh just as much. And so I maintain that I am eager about the positive things that are gonna happen looking forward. And there's really no reason to look back except to celebrate how we arrived at this point at the end of the semester. So again, I just couldn't possibly thank you enough. Be very proud of yourselves. Look forward, take care of yourselves. And if I don't see you, make sure you have a wonderful summertime. Woohoo! Great! Congratulations, Outdoor Education and Park Ranger graduates. Woo!
Thank you.